Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm making another video today because finally I've made another signing. Uh, two very quick signings, I didn't expect to be this quick. Sorry if the camera quality is not the best. I'm um, in very bad lighting, but I want to get this video up as quickly as possible. We have signed midfielder Luke O'Connell on a three-year deal. I'm going to be honest, straight off the bat, I don't know who he is, not heard of him. My football knowledge is quite broad out there, I know a lot of players, but I've never heard of this young lad. But we're going to read the article, we're going to read a few comments and I'm going to give you my opinions of what I've made of it after it all. But before I get into the new sign, if you are new, please subscribe on the road to 4k. And can we hit 20 likes, that would be nicely appreciated. Doing all these videos of who he signs to keep you updated. I'm not going to do videos de of departure like Patrick Schmidt's just departed. I'm not going to do a video on that unless, unless we um, lose someone massive. Uh, then I'll do a video on that. But for the meantime, just doing... Um, signings and yeah this is number three we've got the manager we've got the goalkeeper and now a young midfielder so let's read the article Barnsley football club is delighted to announce the arrival of midfielder luke o'connell on a free transfer subject to clearance so the second signing the second free transfer so we're getting these in quite early where we can which is good to see the 21 year old joins on a three-year deal after a recent spell with scottish champions celtic Born in Liverpool, but representing the Republic of Ireland, for whom he has featured with right up to under-21 level. So like the goalkeeper who played for um, New Zealand 21s, this guy's played for Northern Ireland 21s, so they've got a bit of national experience, to say the young both of them. Luca, natural left forward, likes to decide from the central midfield with an eye for a pass and a desire to win his individual battles. A centre-mid role that we really need to uh, structure on and build on. Kicking off his career at Bolton Wanderers, his ma magic display is called the eye of Scottish giant Celtic, who took him north of the border in June 2019. Unable to find game time at Celtic Park, Connell went on to enjoy two separate loan spells further down the pyramid with another Glasgow club in Queen's Park, helping the Sp Spiders, getting the nickname, to back-to-back -back promotions in his 43 appearances for the oldest club in Scotland. He had a bit of expo experience in the lower leagues of Scotland, which is good to see. After signing for the Reds, Luca told us, I'm over the moon to finally get it done. Over the years, there's been some speculation about it happening, because we were linked to him the other year, I do believe, my dad mentioned. So it's good that we've been linked with him before, so it's obviously a player that we've had on our radar for quite a while. But I'm finally here, and I'm happy to be a Barnsley player. My agent is from Barnsley, so he's told me about the history of the club. He he brought Horian and Kieran Trippy to the club. So he must have a very big agent if he's brought them to win. Uh, so there's high standards. I just know that we need to bounce back to get this club back where it belongs. Both players have mentioned bouncing back to the championship, so at least they understand the task that is at hand. Barnsley Chief Executive Khalid, we are said, we are pleased to announce, we are pleased that Luca has chosen Barnsley to continue his promising career and look forward to seeing his development in a red shirt. Luca will join the Reds officially from July the 1st, linking up with Michael Dull's squad ahead of the 22-23 season. Welcome to Oakwell, Luca Connell. So yeah, uh, judging off that, he's a young lad who looked very promising. Signed for Celtic, didn't get much game time. Um, reading a lot of Celtic and Bolton fans' comments, they said that he's a very very talented youngster that needed more game time to show his, show his um, ability. He was at Celtic and never got a chance to make his debut there, I do believe, and got loaned to Queen's Park where he paid 40-some appearances, like I mentioned earlier. So he's had a bit of experience and looks like he's got a wand of a left foot from what I've seen. A central midfielder with a left foot, um, for for me, it's the replacement for Mauer that we lost a few years ago. We've got Benson and Palmer in there. We've got Herbie Kane who'll come back from Oxford. And we've got Luca now, who hopefully can strengthen, strengthen that central midfield department. And hopefully it can be one of the players that can get us ticking next year. Once again, it's a younger player on a free transfer. We're not spending any money to get him in. Um, you could say it's a gamble getting a younger player on a free transfer. But hopefully it can pay off and be right. I'm still hoping we pay some money for some players and sign some uh, other players down the line, but to get two signings on this, get two signings in this early as well as a manager, it's pretty good for Barnes. And we never wrap this quickly. So we slightly changed our owners and who owns it and who's as I say. We've got the manager in that we wanted from the start. It took a bit of time, but we got the manager in that we wanted. And we've got two players in on free transfers, so it's one of the best starts to transfer windows. I know you can say it's a good transfer window before it's even start because you don't know how these players are going to perform. But for me, it's a good start and hopefully these players can show um, while we signed them on the pitch when the season starts. But yeah, that's all I've got to say about it. I'm optimistic. Um, Celtic and Bolton fans say he's got tons and tons of potential when he showed that he was great in the under-21s and when going on alone. So hopefully 
he can prove to be as good as they say. But yeah, that's all for this video. I'll hope, like I said in the last video, you'll see me Saturday for a video, unless there's somehow another signing before. But well, this is Friday night, so there's not going to be. So I'll see you for the video that's up tomorrow. I hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you for tuning in, even though these aren't my normal match day vlog. I'm just doing this to keep you guys entertained and let you know that I'm still alive. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.